a series which is called The Mental Mechanics of Taking a Quantum Leap. Those who've been following know I've been teaching on taking a quantum leap in life. In fact, that's a series I will continue next week, Monday. And uh, Prof came in because Prof is somebody I know quite well. There is something very, very big we're working on together. And uh, so he uh, has gotten to understand in a deep way the psychology of taking action. And Professor is somebody that has taken very powerful action. You will get to learn about how profound this man is. Uh, I, I can actually honestly confess from where I am that uh, we're in the presence of greatness. It's just sometimes people just don't realize the kind of people they are with until when they're gone and they're at the next level and you're like, man, you mean we used to interact with that kind of person? That's the kind of level that this man is at. And uh, he exemplifies what we're going to be learning, which is this concept of, of taking action in a very profound way. And today we're going into a very exciting topic, and that's the topic of psychodynamics. So the series is Mental Mechanics for a Quantum Leap. If you don't know what a quantum leap is, join us next week, Monday. And then in this particular topic today, he is looking at psychodynamics. So yes, uh, the day before yesterday, he was looking at the, 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 the psychology of, of making a decision and taking action. And then before that, he was looking at the whole construct that makes up the power of the decision. Now, Prof is very deep also on memes and understanding memology and the power of memeocon mean economics it's, i get that part wrong but anyway it's 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 all terminologies that basically boil, boil down to the same thing the psychology of the mind and why most people never make decisions to move and why others do and how you can ensure you're making these decisions so without further ado let me immediately give me great pleasure to introduce once more uh professor hannington mubaiwa prof you already have sharing rights just go for it you're already live on facebook just run <laughs> thanks prof all right thank you very much uh let me first make sure that i'm looking good here let me check myself uh-huh the lighting uh let me put a bit a bit a bit more lighting here i'm sorry i just came in from from working on something uh right okay this i might look better here right okay so you know thank you very much uh, uh you know reverend uh, and sometimes i mean people never get to realize how lucky they are when they have you know a man in the house they say the prophet is not what has got no honor in his, in his own uh, uh, backyard you know you you have a great man here with a great anointing, you know, he is getting somewhere, he's going somewhere, he is somewhere. Uh, and if you listen to him, listen carefully, uh, pick what is yours, pick what speaks to you. You know, a person can say a lot of things. Uh, my, my own tool is that I pick one, two, three things and I stick to those and then I work on those, you know. An example is that, you know, <laughs> I think, I don't know if you realize, if I tell you that <laughs> I can't read, <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have to agree that a person who wrote a 600 page book and another 280 page book and so forth cannot read. So, so what I mean is that, uh, you know, we have different gifts. So I can't go through in a sequence that everybody else does. So what I do is I pick uh, a few things that I'm going to practice uh, and move, move on with those. And I think that is the key. And that's what uh, we want to talk about today. Today, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I don't want to distract you by, you know, putting by sharing anything. I want I want us to listen. Uh, and uh, next time, I've been promised by the Rev that he is going to send a questionnaire uh, to everybody so that you can. We want to know, or I want to know what what the struggle is. You know, uh, you know they say, Professor, Professor, you get in the front of a <laughs> of a class, and you just you know they expect you know, to hear from you and to, you know, and then you just, you know, you, you just pour it down. Now, so in this case, it, this is a different scenario. This is a, a life uh, a scenario, an active scenario where people want to get out there and be great, get out there and solve, you know, financial issues and get these things done. So 
it is critical that we, the message that goes out there, people wake up and, 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 and give their time, you know, to us here. So they need to live with something. Today, I want to get too uh, academic, but I think it was important for us to understand that uh, there's a lot of science behind it. There's a, a lot of depth behind it. And the, re the, the main reason is for you to go and search. You want to be the best, the highest uh, search. They say readers are leaders. Leaders are readers. If you read, you lead. If you lead, you read. You know, it's, it's, it's a science. So now the key thing here that I can say that I can fairly guess though, you know, what everybody is going through. Uh, and, but I wanna tell you like, there are some people who are here because they wanna be somebody. Uh, and there are people who are here who are still struggling to lift themselves up and their lives up and put all the pieces together so that they can be somebody. They've gone through stuff, they've gone through life, they've gone through trials and they, you know, they've made up their mind that they want to get up, but what do you do to get up? People have had, they say, you know, the, the basket, the bottom of the basket fell out for, for a lot of people, you know, and so what do you do to pick it up? And I said to you, the power is there. I suffered. Something happened to me when I came here in America. Uh, I was, uh, uh, you know, a multitasker. I was a person who could get things done fast. You know, I, go, I got here for the first time and we tried to get a, a, I tried to get a job, but you know, I went into business when I was 27 back home there and I left, you know, uh, uh, you, know we, you know, without planning, I had to live. And so what happened is I got here and I was waiting for my kids and I got this job. After two weeks, I got $1,300. And I said, what am I gonna do with this? I said, no, no, I go back to business. I put together business within two years, I had a business I was doing well, and something boom one morning and that's it that's it you're done seven years in a in a in a depression seven years depre i don't know where i am i don't know where i was and that's why you know i can assure you that god exists god works god support god is wide in our being when his hand is on you nothing it can happen i've gone through places you know and am i in that process, my life never went down. God has been keeping me and taking care. That power is there. That intelligence is there. The, that protection is there. The power of his might is there. So I want to, to just share with you that when he says that uh, I am with you, I'll be, uh, I'll be you, I'll be with you. I mean, I'll create a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, you know, and then you must say he only is my expectation. He only is my, my power. It's a truth, it's a science. There's science behind that. Scientists are finding that there's a truth in that. That's how the world works. We were not thrown here like logs. There's a, a part, an intellect that we're gonna into, there are inner things that we were born with that uh, work with us to empower us. So I wanna assure you that you have everything you need right there with you. There are maybe two or three things you need to have. Number one, to have the hope that God has got a seed in everybody to be somebody so that, so that everybody can get something yeah, and everything that we need for our life. You know, it's for service. Now, if you try to, to do something, you know, to, to pay your bills or to help yourself, you're going to struggle. But if you go into your gifts and go after what your heart, uh, what your mind says that touches your heart, that you believe in, that is the seed that God put in you. Now that seed is just as powerful as the, as the physical seed. The physical seed will give you a pumpkin, a melon, a kale that I like over here, uh, uh, and you know, they call it rep over there. Uh, and so, you know, it will give you different things and different, in different plants. And everything is very particular and very exact. Even the timing of ripening and, and the height and everything. It's the same thing with your dream that you have. You know, the idea that you are seeing a greater you, a better you, a better place. Just by that sight, it has been created. What is required is the clarity and the belief 
Remember, we talked about the science of the imagineering a vision. So there's a whole process that at some point, maybe we can get time. That, th that whole thing needs a whole day, <laughs> at least yeah, to go through, but there are things that you can pick from there that were already packaged with various, various things. We have, you clarify it, you have the desire uh, and you have the passion and so forth. When, when it's packaged right and you start moving, like I said, guess what? The people, the places and the things will start moving with you and will meet you in proportion to the momentum that you create. I want to, I want to, I want to say yes, yes, yes to yourself and pat yourself in the bank and say, hey, I come to the right place today. I don't want to sound like a preacher, <laughs> sound like a preacher here, but hey, it's all the same thing. It's the message. Now, I'll, I say that, look, either you catch it or you don't, right? Either you catch it or you don't. Ideas are like fish. You don't catch it, you never see it again. So, so here's the thing. So, so what's the what? Are, what is the real key thing here that can drive you? It doesn't matter where you are. You know, I tell you, from that seven years that I that I, I went through this this depression thing, where I just sat like a cabbage, there was one thing that I said, God has wants me to do something. I don't know what it is, and that's what's kept me going. That's what kept me going. And I begin to drive myself. It took me another, I think another seven years or so to get back to where I am today, right? So, so if somebody like that can now come and speak into you, then you can really say, you can really see that, uh, you know, there's, a, there's hope out there. There's real hope out there. You know, there's the hope for you. But I wanna show, I want us to go through a few, um, I don't know what's happening with my screen. I don't want to see myself here. I don't know why I'm seeing uh -huh, there. Okay, I want to see everybody. I know myself. Oh, I don't know if I know myself very well enough, but I've been looking for 60 something years uh, uh, at myself. Right now, I want to go get a pen, please. Because I want, I want, us, I want to, to lay a plan. I'm not saying this is what's going to work for you, but I know that it's a standard process because it's a science. So I am a social scientist. I studied the, you know, what are the governing laws? What is the physics of advancing an individual? What is the physics? Because when I say physics it means how God put it to work. So I wanna give you some tools that I created and some tools that I believe in. Number one, you, you have to have an idea and listen to the idea in your heart. If it's not in your heart, you may bump into it. You may come to a place where it is. You may hear someone talking about it. And when you catch it, it goes to your heart. That's your idea. Now get excited about it. Get excited about that idea. What does that do when you get excited? It engages what, what uh, a man called uh, uh, Greg Braden uh, in, in, in his book, Divine Matrix, very interesting book, Divine Matrix, he said, scientists are, scientists are finding that the, this air here is energy, right? It is potential. It is a soup of potential. It's an incubator of reality. When people say God is everywhere, right? It simply means in simple terms, God has created a space around us, which is an incubator of reality. It incubates, it incubates your reality. It's a place of, of uh, uh, permutations of possibilities. Different things can happen, but how do they happen? You engage them. How do you engage them? By getting excited. When you get excited, it's as good as dialing a number on the cell phone, a signal will live and go to your permutation. Remember that way it goes, it's already set, right? It's only you that engages it. Like you dial a phone, it will go. Whatever, wherever the number is, it's the same thing. It's designed like that. That's how it works, my brothers and sisters. So get, pick an idea. Get excited about that idea because it engages the divine soup of potential, the energy around you. It engages, God says, God, it's time for you to get up and do my stuff. But it's, that's the way we think. We think he's going to get up. He's already done it. But to please ourselves, to give ourselves confidence, say, God, get up and do it. That's why I say, God, get up. You promised me, you do it. It's your business. You know, it's none of my business how you do it. I want it and I want it now. So, you know, 
some people think that you can't challenge God. I've been challenging God all the time and it's been going through coming through. The more I challenge him, the more he gives. And I'm so excited about that. And I think it's a science, guys. It's a science. That's how it works. That's how we designed it to happen. He did it for you. It's already there. The mechanics are already there. Now, how do you do this vision, this clarity? How do you now, from there, sorry, sorry, when you have the idea, the next thing is to have, you know, to pick up a vision. What picture do you see in the future? And that picture, its clarity becomes the magnet. Each clarity becomes the what? The magnet that attracts those things and, or engages those things. In other words, you want to make yourself a magnetic living system. You want to make yourself a what? A magnetic living system. A magnetic living system. Now, in other words, if it's got to be, it's up to me. If it's got to be, it's up to you. Nobody else but you. When you are strong, when you have engaged into the divine super, into God, into God's space, uh, that seed needs to be mastered. So you need to ask yourself the question, what exactly is it? That's how you clarify it, number one. So now this area that we're talking about, this is the area, uh, we're gonna talk about this more in detail, this area of psychodynamics. What is psychodynamics? Psychodynamics is just a big word, psycho. Dynamics means the change or movement of things, right? The psychologies or the movement of psychologies, right? So psychodynamic movement of psychology, mental mechanics, movement of the, of the mind, of the things of the mind. That's all the words mean. It's, all it says that there are things that God put in you, there are things that God created in you, and you know, they differ in timing in magnitude and space, but uh, they, they are, everybody has them. Everybody has them. So in other words, we are all built to rise. You know, there's a man, I sent, I sent a quotation, uh, to, 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 the, to, the, to the Rev earlier on by a man called uh, Greg Davis. So he's he's, he's my, my, my guru in this, in this thing. It's very, very important. He came up with this idea of this thing called uh, uh, miminomics, means that we are designed to enterprise and increase uh, all, all the time. So now, the, he says that um, in, in this quotation that the human being is an ever, is a, a are ever unfolding and emergent. We're always unfolding. So you are designed to unfold, but you have to know how. So first thing, once you have an idea, you must turn it into a vision. You know, you can't start from the bottom, you gotta start from the top. Right now that vision, how do you then clarify it? There is a process which I designed myself. We call it the number one, you must qualify it. You must qualify, say right qualify, number one, qualify, qualify it. That means what exactly is it? What is it exactly? How big is it? Okay, I want to, for me, you know, I'm driving the mission of Africa, I'll say, <laughs> how do you quantify that? <laughs> you know, so for me, so I have to find out that, okay, you know, if you are going to, to help transform Africa, you have to start with a vision. So what vision? I have to figure out, <laughs> how to make it out, and I came up with it, you know, uh, it's doable. And the thing is that, the thing to understand is that you don't have to really, all you have to do is to place yourself there, because everything is designed to work, once you place it, because remember, this mission is not yours, it's God's, you see? So, so now, you, so number one, you qualify. Number two, you quantify. In other words, what is the sense of schedule? Somebody will say, I want to sell tomatoes, right? I want to sell tomatoes. And you know what? They'll say, if I get $5 and sell tomatoes here, I can get, uh, you know, one, you know, I can get two pens. I can go and buy some, some, some greens. Somebody, somebody will say, hey, you know what? I want to buy 10 boxes. Somebody will say, hey, you know, I want to do a farm. You see, uh, as a matter of fact, tomatoes are very exciting to grow. I used to grow tomatoes there <laughs> in Zimbabwe there. Exciting business. So, so, but what is the size of the thing as you see it in that moment? It's something that you ponder. It's, it's when you get it, as you, what you see right away, you pick on that. Don't second your guess yourself. What you feel in your heart, it is. The heart is the measure of the truth that should drive you. The heart is the truth of the measure that should drive you. I am actually checking time over here. I'm looking <laughs> at the time. I'm going to try my best. You know, so the, so the next thing is, 
So you qualify it. It must be very clear, right? And you must quite get a sense of scale because if you don't have a sense of scale, then you cannot have a sense of the means. You see, you can't conceptualize the means. A person that say, you know, people wake up and say, hey, I'm gonna buy a bus. Someone say, I'm gonna buy a pickup. Someone say, I'm gonna buy a mini, right? It's just when, if you, if you say, I'm going to, some people say, I want a mini. Someone will say, I want to buy, the person that say, I want to, God gives them a picture of the means, just like that. But if you're not, you see, God gives you a picture of the means once you define what it is in the magnitude of it. So the next thing is you must have a sense of schedule. When you when do you want to do this, like this business, are you just listening? Are you just coming here to understand, to hear? Are you just coming with your friend? Or is that something that you're thinking, oh, maybe I'll do it next week. Maybe I want to do this. Maybe I'm going to do this. Then I'll do it next week or the next year or 10 years. You got to have that because it gives your mind. Your mind is your worker. You know, the, when you line up your thoughts, when you line up your ideas, you are giving it clarity on what to do for you. The mind works for you. It's designed by God. Once you do certain things, it begins to make things happen by itself, even when you're not thinking about it. So the, the third thing, so another, you remember we talked last time that it's important for you to have a sense of schedule, but there may be things you may need to fix first. You know, you may have kids that are in school. They maybe you want to send them to boarding school. That's what, we, that's what we did. We sent our kids to boarding school. When I was coming here, that was an intervention and so forth and so forth. And we got, uh, you know, we got some of them as a school that was, a school that was, I mean, a house that was near the school so they could walk. So those are interventions. Now, so, and then the final thing, the final thing that will give you the power to move, we call it justify. And many people in the direct marketing call it the why. What is your why? Why do you want to do this? Why do you think this is it? When you say this is it, this is the time you want to do it in, this is the size. Why? When you do that, it gives you the desire. You see? And then people say, you see, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem that I have with my mission here on Africa is say, when you want to build a new Africa, we're going to, people say, how? <laughs> how are you going to do that? Huh? How are you going to do it? Now, somebody figured it out. <laughs> somebody figured it out. Right? It's, it's, so I say it's not about the how, it's about the what. Right? Now, first of all, you've got to lead yourself as the CEO. The CEO, you are the what man of a woman of your corporation called Rev Inc, right? You are the watchman. First, you've got to define the what and then the, the intent. What are you going to do to do it? It's nothing to do with the how. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to, what? I'm going to open up a farm, right? Okay, I'm going to go to, to, to Mzuzu or whatever to go check, to go see the DC there, whatever. So it comes like that. And then the how is, is later. You see, when you say, I want to go get a farm, okay, I'm going to get to, go to this place to look. You don't start thinking, okay, how many plows am I going to have? Am I going to get a harvester? You don't think like that. So the how doesn't matter. When the, when the why is strong enough, the how doesn't what? Doesn't matter. When the why is strong enough, when the why is strong enough, the how does not matter. What, that, what does that mean? It means God has already set for the process to happen. What you need to do is to clarify, to clarify is to have, you, you clarify your vision. You make your vision clear by, by qualifying it, by quantifying it, giving a sense of scale, by giving a sense of schedule and by justifying it, you have a desire. Now, when you have a vision now and you have belief in it and confidence in it, that's what raises your passion. When those things go boom, now you are ready to go. Now we are ready to go. It gives us to the next step, right? We talked about the, quali the, the qualification or the clarifying of the vision. The next step, what are the things that you're gonna think about before you, before you move forward? What are the things that you're gonna think about? Now, I want you to, to draw a, a long rectangle, a, a long rectangle about, about what? Uh, one, two, three, about two inches. A long rectangle about two inches and by, by about uh, 10 centimeters. We'll draw that very quickly, boom. And then put a, le put a leg, another rectangle, at the, uh, at the, you know, on the one side, another in the middle, 
and another at the end. Rectangles like that. Uh -oh. Can you see it? Oh, let me see. I don't know if you can see. Like that. Draw a rectangle like that, right? Now, I want you to see that. At the top there, that rectangle, that's a bridge. That's going to take you to a new you, to a new burning condor, new Priscilla, new condo house, new Kube, and new another Kube, another Kube, and Thompson, right? To the new you. So now, now that's the bridge you're going to go to walk, but the bridge must be supported by the pillars. And those pillars, number one, which one is this? Which side is this? Yeah, this side is the left. On the left-hand side, that's the pillar of the means. What, what are the things that you're going to need, right? Like here, I'm going to need motivation. I'm going to, look, I'm going to need to train. I'm going to need to read. I'm going to need this kind of money to, to pay for the things, you know? I got, so without the means, uh, then the bridge is going to fall. And then the number three is uh, your ethical code, your behavior, you, you know, your culture. How are you going to behave? You know, are you going to wake up and say, okay, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to do it, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have another sleep, I'm going to have a sleep. And before you know, I know there are some people who even come in here today <laughs> because of that, I'm going to sleep. So <laughs> just say, hey, when the bell comes, I jump and I go. I jump and I go. You see what I'm saying? So that is very critical. So you can have the means, but if you're not fixed, if you're not, if you're not, if you don't have values, right? If you can't manage, if you can't rein yourself, your mind, you know, towards what you need to do, you need to rein your mind towards your vision. You know, you need to stop all those yalla yallas. Yalla yalla here, yalla yalla there, yalla yalla there. You know, go do somebody's thing. Hey, come and help me here. All right, okay, I'm coming. Come here tomorrow morning. Hey, I'm coming. Hey, I'm gonna work. Oh yeah, I'm there, I'm there. Well, how about yourself? What are you gonna do about yourself? What are you gonna do? Do yourself first so you can help others. Now, the next thing, the next one, right? Column of the bridge. What is it? I think we talked about it. Who can tell us? Who can, uh, who can watch my call it? Unmute very quickly. Uh, I want to choose someone. That's strategy. Huh? Strategy. Yes. strategy, strategy, strategy. Now, what kind of strategy is this we're talking about? What kind of strategy? Who can unmute very quickly there? Barbara. Oh, Barbara. Huh? In Sokolo. Oh, this is strategy. Okay, who else? Okay, what is this? What kind of strategy is this? Is this strategy of how to do things? Is this strategy of how to drive your thing? What strategy is this? Who can explain what that strategy is? Okay, remember this vision. Remember, you have been living, living your life already. Some of you are, mad, are old madalas like myself in your sixties. <laughs> You know, you be so now you want a new a new leaf of life. So what is in order for that to happen? It's called transformation, right? You're transforming yourself. So and this is a, a strategy that will just change everything, change who you are, change what you you know to make you to put you into what you can become, right? Right now, a lot of people are conservative. They are they they, they are bound by what what is, and they can't they can't drive themselves to what can be. Now you release yourself in your mind towards what can be. Now you want to see you are driven by what can be. But now, what is it they want to do? You need to have a transformational strategy that says, OK, you know what? I'm moving from this office. I'm just going to new, look for another building. You know, or I'm going to sell. You know, I want to go do a different thing. I'm going to sell all the tools. You know, I sell all the tools that I had in the construction business I had to start something else. Because I, I realized that it was keeping me. So I took all my tools. I gave them some. It was like a, a rock. A, a turn of rock off my back when I did that. So, you know, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go part-time, I'm gonna go study, or I'm gonna, you know, what is it that you can do completely to change everything? So that you have, you know, you, you, you go, it just puts you on that journey. So if that strategy is not good enough, you're gonna stay where you are, or you're gonna struggle. So once you have your vision is clear, and you have these things set up. The rest is process. Don't start worrying about. I'm all, huh? Okay. Don't start worrying about where is this going to come from. When is the money? Amulenga. Amulenga. Mute for Can you mute yourself, please? Yeah. So, so now, when now, my brothers and sisters, here's the thing. 
This is the science. Once your vision is clear and you have a clear concept of this thing that we call a strategic map, your transformational strategic map, transformational strategic map, that's what it is. It will give you the transformation you want based on the clear vision. Once you have this, you are on your journey. Don't worry. Don't think, what's, where am I going to get this? It's going to come by itself. Now, when you believe in this, you have passion and the desire for it, you are now a magnetic living system, right? Your pocket has got nothing to do with this. Your pocket has totally got nothing to do with this because the pocket, it's God it really structured things in terms of uh, resources, they line up, whether they are the people, whether they are the places and the things, they will line up for you. So this is what it is, and you start moving. The rest is process because you didn't. I would. I didn't even know that I was going to meet the Reverend and uh, Sister Nelly uh, and uh, Brother Kama and and many others. So my brothers and sisters, today I hope this we've learned something from this, and you know you can send some questions to you know to the Reverend, uh, and if there's any question, maybe one or two questions we can try to answer. We've got three minutes. We have three minutes. You can all unmute. And if you know how to lift your, you to put your hand there. Uh, answers on process. Okay, when you say process, process. I like to be on process, the process. Okay, so now you have your vision, right? Now, why don't you do this part first, the process uh, is automatic. It's going to happen. When I say functional process, I mean, I mean the steps, the steps that you're going to take. You say it's a function. It means that the process we know how to design. There are ways of designing. It doesn't matter how big, how small. That you can design. That you can ask other people. That you can learn in the books. That you can you can find. What's the guys? I want to do this. I want to do this. What do you think I should do? You see. But if it's not clear, if you if you go to a person to ask. You know, even a person who doesn't know you, if your vision is very clear, uh, you uh, you can convince him they can support you. You're more likely to get supported by somebody you don't know than somebody you know. So the process is not an issue. The issue, prime, we can talk about that another time. The key, pro, the key issue here is clarify your vision using those steps. Thank you. Any other, any other question? We have uh, one minute. Any closing remarks from Sister Sylvia? Sylvia. <laughs> yeah, always. Uh, you know, um, thank you so much, Prof. These are the things that we've been talking about all the time, and you've made them so simple for us. You've made them so simple for that for us. So it just, you know, what it takes now is to take action. Act, action changes things. And, mm -hmm. and for me, uh, today, because I didn't even want to miss any word at all, uh, I'm here, I, I, you know, and the person that, the, the pen that was in front of me was a red one. I said, yeah, this is a pen for the teacher. So yeah, I, I'll use it to write these things. So let's take action, you know, ladies and gentlemen. We've been on these platforms and here, here is the golden given professor to us. If you can't take action, it's your fault. Even the pillars, some, some of us, maybe the pillars have already been collapsed. We've drawn them, but we won't even use it after today. But I urge you to use these pillars, to use this system, to use this process, use this strategy, simple strategy that Professor has told us. We have um, an empty bucket, Professor, like for me, wherever somebody is standing in front of me, I've got an empty bucket. I actually remove all these cobwebs that I've had so I can learn new things and I've got space for it. So this is what I, you know, I urge our team members to really get it. And it doesn't take more than this. So we're so, so grateful, uh, Professor. I end there. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you, uh, my uh, uh, favorite reverend. <laughs> Indeed, Prof. You know the stuff you drop is bombs. And you know, in, in my mind, the way it is, so like this mnemonics, you can be rest assured I'm going to go and look at it deeply because you know, 
in my book, uh, in my book, uh, the, the, the one that you're forwarding, I speak about the power of negative memes. And a lot of um, uh, the people who specialize in, uh, in, in manipulating the thinking of the public usually use memes and then they use a process called jamming. Now, what is interesting is that the same way that something can be negative and cause a reaction that messes people up is the same way that something can be positive. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just turn it on its head and then you use the, 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 the positive side of it. In other words, what kind of memes can I begin to push into my mind so that I can create that uh, environment you, you are speaking about, Doc, the one that is going to cause us to move into taking action and, and to harness this, this soup of potential that sits within the, 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 the atmosphere. Uh, I like what Kaba was speaking about there. He talked about onions and negative energy, I mean, negative ions. And it's, just, it's, it's a buildup. You really do see it's true that the seed within our minds has an environment in which we can tap in to make it happen. And I think summing up everything you said, Prof, we really do appreciate. In two weeks' time, Prof, you know I'm going to have all those questions ready. I will send them to you long before so that you put some uh, explanations around them. With your indulgence, if you have agree, Prof, I would like to alternate my weeks with you. So that one week <laughs> I'm presenting on the quantum leap. The other week you're doing your thing on all these uh, very powerful things. But definitely, I really will recommend all our people that they get a hold of uh, the Riot Act, because I know in that book, that's where you really go deep into the philosophy of transformation. But I know 650 pages, already 90% are going to miss such a book, <laughs> you know? So they'll miss well, this beautiful... I mean, <laughs> you, know, you know something, you know something, uh, uh, you have, I'm glad you talked about that uh, before mm -hmm. I, I go to, to my ZZ, it's a kind of, you know, uh, sleeping time here. You see, mm -hmm. you see my brothers and sisters, uh, you know, um, I told you about the, 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 the what do you call it, the, the seven years that I went through a depression, right? I, I was, yeah. I'm an engineer by, by profession, right? And, mm. and I, I'm not trying to, to, sh to, to, to show off, but I was top of my class uh, at school. Mm. I'm not trying mm. to show off, but when I got that, it was nothing. It was completely nothing. Uh, but what mm. brought me back is reading. When I say what brought me back, right now, I, I can see, I sit, uh, our, I, there in Zambia, I sat in front of 18 economists when I came who wanted to, who were trying to interview me about this, about, uh, you know, the, the process, you know, and, and in, in, I went to a number of places, they interviewed me, and now I can stand. Why? Because of knowledge. Now, the key thing I can tell about the book, anybody who reads that book, right, it's a transformational book for an individual, for an organization, for a person, for a nation. All the science is there. All the science about the mental mechanics, you will find them there. I encourage you to read. If you read 10 pages a day, 60 days. You know, five pages is, uh, is 120. If you read, if you read uh, 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 20 pages a day, it's only 30 days. I've seen people read it in one week, in three weeks, in two weeks, it's doable. That is the one book everybody must read. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Reverend. Over and out. Sorry. Good night, Prof. Uh, Devs, thank you so much. I need to let you go. But to everybody else on the call, we've come to the end. But I just want to encourage you that uh, this science of taking action is not some... Uh, oh, the book. The book is called The Riot Act. Uh, Prof, is it on, um, on, on Amazon? No, not yet. I'll send it to you. You can send it to, 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 to them. Oh, wonderful. See, the prof is so great, so magnanimous yeah. that he's just going to send us for free. So it's coming. He's going he's gonna to bring it, and uh, I will share it to everybody on our uh, call uh, so that you're able to access it. I'll, I'll create a link on uh, Drive so that you can be able to access it. But like I was saying, the, the mental mechanics of making a decision are very serious, and the majority of people never manage to do it, and that's why many people never see success, because they're so caught up in the thinking that they had from their environment. But I think the most important thing is that we need to unplug from the external uh, environment, especially from something I come to learn, which is